Way late up at the garden gate, looking the right state, but don't worry, it was worth it. Crying out blood on her hands from one too many, left the man saying, Darling, please don't leave me. Where hit the moon time, it slipped through like sand, comparing scars upon the skin, I now the one size too thin. Never been hard hit, pushed down to a passion pit, saying, Darling, think I love Okay then, not to worry Mrs Wicks. Thank you for your time. Bye. What do you want? Hi, I'm Sam. I'm new here. So? Look, the guys over there, they want me to come over here and ask you some obscene questions. Could you just please play a role? What did you say? Why don't you just fuck off, you pervert? No, that's it. Thanks. Yes, Colin. It was a late night last night. Was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you get up to? What didn't I get up to? Picture the scene. Yours truly, two girls, twins, back at my crib. Use your imagination. Oh yeah, <laughs> weekly book club, was it? Don't be so naive, Alice. Although we did recreate some chapters from Fifty Shades of Grey. How's it going? So what have I asked you to say this time? Ah, nothing. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> Sam here's being bullied by the sales team lads. I'm not being bullied. Oh yeah? You want me to have a word with them? No, I'm not being bullied. They tried to bully me once. They won't be doing that again. Really? Why's that? Well, they know what will happen, don't they? What's that? You know. shoot off. The ship is beckoning her captain. So how's your face? Yeah, it's it's fine, thanks. I've uh, I've always wondered what a broken jaw feels like anyway, so I wanted to make it realistic for you. Oh, you certainly did that. So, uh, what brings you to this shithole? Well, you know, it's something I always dreamed about. Answering phones all day for a minimum wage. Why wouldn't I want to work here? <laughs> so, what brings you to this shithole? Money. 
What's this you're reading? Sky at Night. What is it about? Stars. How can you fill a whole magazine every week just on stars? Well, considering there's over 100,000 million stars in our galaxy alone, I can't imagine it being that hard. Wow, you certainly know your stuff. You're heading the right way for another slap. So, what's this fascination with stars then? My uh, dad used to. Um, you know, it's none of your business. Okay, I'll leave you two of them. Try not to slap anyone while I'm gone. Don't touch that. Who's that? Your granddad? <laughs> Are you serious? This is Sir Patrick Alfred Caldwell Moore. He's one of the greatest astronomers of our generation. So is it your granddad? <laughs> do you ever actually do any work around here? No, I'm, uh, I'm actually on a break right now. Okay, uh, I'll speak to you later, yeah? Okay. Phew, he likes you. What? Sam, he likes you. No, he doesn't. Word of warning, be careful, men like us. Heartbreakers. What do you mean, men like you? You know, smart, sophisticated. Smart. You can get us into the planetarium. I wondered if you wanted to go. Planetarium? <laughs> it's like a cinema, but with stars and constellations. What, so you just go and look at some stars? Yeah, are you up for it? Um, yeah, sure. I haven't got anything better to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm not sure whether to take that as a compliment or not. What am I supposed to be looking at? You see that star there? There's loads of them. The big one, there. Oh yeah. What about it? That's Jupiter. Oh, I know that. But I thought we were supposed to be looking at stars. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Anyone important? No. What about that one? That's Arcturus. Then if you follow it down, there's Spica. Then look across. There's Saturn. Who's Hannah? My ex. 
Oh. What does she want? I don't know. I haven't spoken to her since we broke up. Why don't you want to? Because I don't want to. I'm here with you now. <laughs> How long did you go out for? Two years. Why? Just wondered. Is she pretty? Kinda, yeah. Why all these questions? <laughs> I'm curious. Oh, uh, okay. Well, um, what was your last boyfriend like then? Nice. I liked him. Why did you break up then? We went to different high schools. High schools? <laughs> How old were you? Fourteen. Your last relationship was when you were fourteen? Yeah, so what? Nothing, it's just weird. Why is that weird? It just is. I mean, a beautiful girl like you hasn't had a boyfriend in that long. Is there something wrong with you I should know about? <laughs> <laughs> what? You think I'm pretty? Yeah. What's that one? I know. I know. I miss you too. I don't know. I might be back soon. I don't know, maybe a week or so. I love you too. Bye. All right. Hey. What are you so chirpy about? Nothing. Oh, don't play dumb. I've seen that look on loads of girls' faces. Use your offer to finish with them. You're a pig. Sam, that's the guy. No. Maybe. So what if it is? No, oh, but maybe. Oh, doesn't matter. What were you going to say? It doesn't matter. Hey, you scared me there. <laughs> Did I? So sorry. You okay? Yeah, yeah. You? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. So, you and Alice, eh? What about him? She's a nice girl. Yeah, yeah. So what are you playing around for? What? Come on. This isn't my first ride at the rodeo. I know a player when I see one. What are you talking about? I heard you on the phone with that other girl. I don't know what you're going on about. What are you two talking about? Nothing. Uh, Colin was just telling me about how he used to ride bulls for a living. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, well, at least they're loyal. What? Ask Loverboy here. What is he on about? Colin uh, overheard me talking on the phone and he thinks I'm two-timing you. Yeah, going on about how he loves this other girl and he can't wait to see her. Is that right, Sam? Yeah, I did say that. But I was talking to my sister who was in the hospital ill. Come on, you don't believe that. Actually, I do, Colin. <laughs> Unless he's in some incestual shit that, that wasn't his sister, Alice. Just go away, Colin. You made the mistake. Now apologise. I'm, I'm not apologising. Surely you don't believe that... Colin, fuck off. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Why didn't you tell me about your sister? I didn't want to start giving you a sob story. Don't be silly. Do you want to come over to mine tonight? I'll cook dinner and we can talk about it. Yeah, that sounds nice. Seven? Yeah, that's good. I had a really good time last night. Me too. 
Okay, I'll, I'll go back to work. Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, see Bye. you tonight. Bye. Do you want to order takeaway instead? <laughs> oh god, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> yeah. Why would you ever believe what he's saying? What? Matthew McConaughey. He just looks slimy. And then precisely seven and one half minutes after that you're gonna bring us two more. And then two more after that every five minutes until one of us... So, uh, do you want to talk about today? <laughs> no, not really. So that was your sister on the phone? Thank you. Yeah. Not your ex? No. Jeez, who are you, Colin? Don't compare me to him. No, seriously, don't ever compare me to him. I'd rather be compared to Hitler. Sorry. I thought that's what Do it again. What? Do it again. Right. I gotta say, I'm incredibly excited. Comedian Arnold Braunschweiger. Danger is my trade. Now remember, I can break your neck like a chicken. You are mine now. You belong to me. You're not gonna take my girl. Mm. Sorry, I'm... I'm on my way. Sam, what are you doing? What are you doing? I knew it. Hit it and quit it. I could smell it a mile off. Can you give this to Alice, please? What's this? I'm not. She doesn't know you're leaving, does she? You really are a twat, mate. What? I told you she's a nice girl. And you go around and mess around like this. Look, this is none of your fucking business, mate, okay? So what now? Why are you leaving? Going back to your sister? Who? You don't even have a sister. It's another woman. So that's it, leaving, going back to this other woman now. Had your fun with Alice, have you, eh? Just another notch above the bedpost, can't be fucking over. Why don't you just leave? Look, I'll give you a hand with this shit. Won't be needing this anymore, will you, mate? Look, Carl, I didn't mean to hurt Alice. I still love her. Done, that's it, out. Bye. Go on, fuck off. You deserve better.
fuck? Jeez, Alex, what time do you call this? Where's Sam? He up and left. What? Packed his things this morning. Stop being a dick, Colin. Where is he? Being 100% serious. I don't believe you. Look, lover boy's gone. He's fucked off. Is this your way of getting one up on him, Colin? Stop pissing around and tell me where he is. One up? The two-timing dick is gone. Look, he asked me to give you this. Okay. Of course I'm not fucking okay. <laughs> Any, anything I can do to help? You use me, Colin. Alice, boys like that, they're only after one thing. V vagina. Oh, shut up, Colin. Listen, you're the best girl I know. You're funny, you're oh. smart. <laughs> Easy on the eye. Don't let that dickhead knock your confidence. I really liked him, Colin. <laughs> what are you wearing? It's fashion, isn't it? I kind of like it. Hey, listen, if you need someone to go stargazing with you, I'll, I'll come if you want. Here, Jupiter's good this time of year. <laughs> Way late up at the garden gate, looking the right state, but don't worry, it was worth it. Grandma blood on her hands from one too many, left the man saying, Darling, please don't leave me. Where hit the moon time, it slipped through like sand. Wearing scars upon the skin are now the one size too thin Never been hard hit, pushed down to a passion pit Saying, darling, think I love you Tonight many hearts, many hearts will make amends To lovers lost in the West End But are they destined? Service. This is Alice speaking. How can I help you?